this, today's date, this is the second page that's going to go into your notebook. I have the larger copy of it. However, uh, you guys have the half page. We're going to do these two pages. This one you're going to be turning in, but I'll go over it briefly. So just follow this along. This will be part of your notebook check for today, which is 514. Uh, so Newton's second law of motion, the abbreviated version of it is force equals mass times acceleration. The larger mass of an object, the more force is going to require to accelerate it. So, <coughs> excuse me, Newton's second law of motion informs us that force is a product of mass and acceleration. Well, product is a wonderful math word, uh, meaning multiplication. So this one is true. Uh, F equals MA. So F ma. Ooh. All right, let's see. We used a rhino the last time. Um, oh, look, a pig. With, yeah. All right, so looking at the next one. Uh, a Newton can be shown as kilograms per meter square, or excuse me, per uh, meters per second. Or, uh, let me read this again. A Newton can also be shown as kilograms times uh, meters per second. For example... Uh, 30 kilograms times meters per second, 30 newtons. The big thing here is that acceleration is meters per, you can't see it, meters per second squared. So the issue with this one is false. Um, so false. The velocity is measured in meters per second. Well, acceleration, which is what we are using for, for force is meters per second squared. So you cannot use it if you're using velocity because the formula does not involve velocity. All right, cover it up with Monsieur Tortis. Um, so looking at this letter C, the greater the mass, the greater the force required to increase acceleration. Uh, example, 20 kilograms is easier to accelerate than 30 grams. So the greater the mass, so the larger the object, not as a larger, but the, the more mass it has, the greater the force required to increase its acceleration. So you would have to put more force behind larger objects um, to, to get it go. So it's easier to accelerate a 20 gram, kilogram something than to accelerate 30 grams. This is definitely true. Um, more mass equals more force. More force to accelerate. Ta-da! Woohoo! All right, we need another animal to cover this up. Let's see, what is this pink thing? Oh, it's a sewing needle. Wonderful. Let's see. Oh, a rooster. Let's put Monsieur Rooster. So, um, got a student creepily staring at me. Okay. She just took my B. So solving for acceleration is easy. Simply divide the mass by the force. So if you know that F equals M times A, and you're trying to solve for acceleration, um, mass divided by force. Now, if you to get acceleration by itself, you're going to have to do F divided by M equals A. So no, that is incorrect. Um, force divided by, I keep going back and forth, force divided by mass equals acceleration. So it's not mass divided by force, it's force divided by mass to get acceleration. Looking at this note by sight, can you identify anomalies? Cross out the following non-examples or incorrect ideas that relate directly to uh, force equals mass times acceleration. In other words, the Newton's second law of motion. Um, you know this one from what we just did. If you have force and acceleration, uh, mass must be constant. So this isn't accurate because when mass is constant, because if you have force and acceleration on your x and y axis, this has to be mass that's being graphed. When mass is constant, both, I'm just going to abbreviate, F and A increase. Okay. Ta -da, another wonderful job done. Um, oh yeah, I was going to use the seal. Well, I think I need more than one. We'll have a seal and a lion because, yeah, you don't find seals roaming the plains of the African savanna. So, um, this is 10 meters per second square, and the bus is 10 meters per second square. The motorbike has more for force. Hopefully, you are not an invalid and realize that that is incorrect. Um, just based on this alone, you can assume that the motorbike has less mass. So, and the answer key has this as the heavier object. Uh, but 
we're not assuming that the bus necessarily has more mass. I'm just going to tell you the bus has more mass because heavy would assume weight. And just because an object is larger doesn't mean it's necessarily heavier. So for example, a large trash bag full of leaves uh, might be larger than a 30 pound dumbbell, but it probably doesn't weigh more. So the larger, more mass, object has more force. And you don't need to do any calculations because, yeah, more force. Um, that's an R, by the way, more force. And the reason I can say that is because they're both going the same acceleration. So it's not like it's changing at all. So that's how you can make that assumption. All right. Oh, I've been waiting to use this guy. There you go. Little scorpion. All right, the last part is uh, a little question. Find the force of a 20 kilogram mass accelerating at 30 uh, meters per second squared. So if I'm looking at this force, we're solving for force, we know that this is the correct um, application. So mass 20 times 30, well, hopefully you realize that is not 6. So this is false. So this would be 20 times 30 equals 600 newtons. Okay. All right, this last part is the little matching. And we are almost going to be done with this in about six minutes. Um, I don't think I did other colors last time. We'll switch it up. Okay. So acceleration, mass, force, second law. It would be helpful if I actually was on key with this. A push or pull acted upon by an object. Hopefully you have by now realized that that is force. A push or a pull is always going to be force. Um, number two is blank. The rate at which an object changes velocity. Well, anytime you're talking, we know velocity is uh, meters per second. So I can probably assume that this is going to be acceleration. So 3 and A go together. Um, let's see. The measure of how much matter is in an object. Which matter? Okay, so that's mass. Right. Mass and matter are very, very similar. Um, a different color. The resistance of change in motion. Well, that one's pretty easy as well. For inertia. And then the last one is going to be Newton's second law, which is simply F equals M times A. Ta-da! Thank you, Maribel, for running into a desk or a table, whatever you just did. And that ends this video.